Hello and welcome to a new series. It is Brentford Football Club that we will be taking on. Hopefully taking them from a championship side in London all the way to Champions League glory. All the way. We're going to take them up to the top tier English football in the Premier League. And if you, want, if you don't want to miss any of it, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. And we're going to hop straight into this Brentford career mode. Okay, so this is the team we have here at Brentford. Overall, it's a pretty solid team. Of course, I've got Tony up front. He's an amazing player. I feel like he's got loads of potential in him. So I'm going to be keeping Tony. I mean, I mean, look at our bench. We've, we've not got the strongest bench actually. We've got Janssen, but I I think I feel like because he's getting old, we're going to need, and we have. Who's this guy? Sorensen at centre back. The stats aren't the best. I mean, I don't. I'm not that much. I don't. I've not watched Brentford play football that much, but I just felt they'd be a really good team to do career mode with. They have. I feel like they've got good club history, but I. So I don't know really much about their team. But they do have a solid team. I think we will need to bring in a new centre back though. Um, because we do have quite a few that are old. I know we've got Gude, but I mean it's just the same stats. I mean, I mean, so we've got um, Jan Elt at CDM. Looks like a good player. We've also got Noah Guard at CDM as well. If you want to bring him on, he looks like a really good player actually. Look at his stats, Noah Guard. He wins most of them. And we're going to start Noah Guard. Um, Noah Guard, off uh, over. Hey, who is it? Who is it? We're starting him over Jan Elt. So then we'll start Nogard over Jan Elt, and then we've got the Silva centre mid. Looks pretty decent all round. And then Jensen, I think he looks pretty decent all round as well. I mean, not the best pace, but it's all right. And then Tony, man, what a player! I feel like this is going to be one of our people that bags us in like I think he's going to be a top scorer for sure he might even be top scorer in the league that's what we hope we hope to get promoted to the Premier League first season but look at this team this is a really really good team I mean our branch is quite strong as well I think we're going to bring him on into the thingy into the subs <coughs> but we do have quite a solid reserves as well 60 to like 60 got some 67s, 64, 63s, 60s to 61s and then the rest of 50 and un 57 and under 57 and unders but I think I think we've got a good team really I mean I think we're gonna need to get a new keeper that's all I think I think well not really I mean you look at these stats and these are all like outfield but 70 on most of them I think we could really get a new goalkeeper which I think we're gonna do so yeah I'll show you my first signings and yeah I'll show you when I've got the first signings all right so these are the three players I do have in my transfer list or short list I do feel like we need the center back and the goalkeeper but Smith Rowe was just an option that we could bring in on loan four star four star really good player being an Arsenal fan myself, I feel like he's a really good up and coming, good potential player. And as you can see here, we've got um, a centre back, four star weak foot, which is good. Two star skill moves, decent for a centre back. And of course, the skill moves and um, weak foot doesn't matter. Well, weak foot does matter a bit, but he doesn't really need it that much. But I do have belief that these 18 year olds will bring us loads of depth and potential in this team. So we're going to go ahead and try and get a contract with the centre back. Gavardiol. So we have offered five million pounds for Gavardiol and all they want is a one percent release clause. So we are gonna go ahead and accept that and five million pounds Gavardiol is the transfer fee for Gavardiol. I think that is a brilliant signing for us. And if we can do the player wages, I think that would be a brilliant signing. So that was a bit of a fail. I did try so as you can see, we did get the five million um, pound offer, but I did try and give him two k, and I I felt like that would do it. Seeing is I checked his stats, and he was on five hundred pound, 
a weekly wage but then I was like wait I don't know if this will work and as soon as I submitted like the offer I knew it wasn't going to work but anyway it is what it is we'll try and offer for him again in a week but on to Van der Voet who will be signing next hopefully this time alright so as you can see actually he does have a 5.1 million pound release clause and I don't know if I should accept this for the goalkeeper 5.1 million pounds will half our budget but he did accept 5k, but then we might not be able to get Smith Rowe. I don't know about this. I mean, we could try and offer under it, but... In fact, yeah, I'm going to try and offer under it. I'm going to try and offer 4.2 mil with a 5% release clause. Let's try and do this. Right, so, not 9. 4.2... In fact, we'll just go all in. 4.2 first. Let's go. 4.2 million pounds for the goalkeeper van der Boot. This time, hopefully, I'll be back at you with an actual player that's signed this time. Alright, so we have been offered 1.1k as a wage for him. Now, I don't know why the centre-back never accepted 2k, but I do see that there's a signing bonus, so I guess that's why. But you could have counter off that. Anyway, we are going to accept this 1.1 K wage with the 9.4 I think it was K signing bonus and there we go Van der Root is now a goalkeeper for Brentford now for Smith Rowe I think we are going to try and get him on a loan deal now this I don't think this is going to go through but I mean we can try He's I he think he's on about 20k wages but there we go this club isn't interested in loaning this player out. Well, there goes that then. We are not going to be signing Smith Rowe this season, but maybe next season or January when we get money from pre season and all that. Smith Rowe is not over yet. He's still in the cards to be a signing at Brentford. Alright, guys, so I have skipped a week and now Gavardiol is now open for transfer negotiations again so we're going to go at this again offer him the same amount of money and let's see if we can get his wages done this time so this time we did get him a bit cheaper we did get the 4.8 million pound offer instead of 5.1 million which we did in the last time but this time we did up the sell on clause for 3% Sheena has even if we do sell him we're still going to make profit we're not going to lose money on this centre back since he's got and so many so much potential he's got bags of potential so yeah let's not mess up these negotiations this time and hopefully we can bring Garvidal to Brentford and would you look at that I mean we're only 2k off of what he wanted to be fair we rid like 2k now he wants 4.6k but he did want a hefty signing bonus so I think we're gonna bump up his signing bonus to 50k and then Leave his wages like that, and then remove his bonus. But look how much that's leaving us with in the bank. That is going to be a big, 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 big dent. I think... I think we're going to go for it. Submit offer. And there we go. He has accepted it. We'll now look, we'll now go over to the team and show you what we have done with this team. The whole team's not been starting for pre season. What the hell's been happening here? We've had have a second team starting. I don't know what's happened. But our se seventy one rated centre back joins us to replace our 65 rated centre back and our 68 rated keeper I know it doesn't look like it but he's got bags of potential and this lad will be coming in to be replaced with Raya Pinnock will be often replaced out with Jansen because it looks like he's got some stamina issues but to be fair so is the rest of the team that looks like they've been starting so I think now we're going to do the rules so captain I think I'm going to put on Ivan Tony. I feel like he's one of our best players. Here I'm going to look at the free kick stats. What about the wingers? They got free, good free kick stats. I think we're going to put the free kicks on Mbemo. 
me poemo, however you say it. Brentford fans, please tell me if I'm saying them wrong down below in the comments. Also, while I'm saying in the comments, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and then we can smash, let's smash 100 subscribers and let's get, I'm going to say 10 likes in this video. This is the goal. Penalties on Tony. Corners. Yeah, they can be on Jensen. There we go. There's the rules. I'm going to save that. And I think we'll go into our first game. Wait, we'll have a look at the fixtures. I think we can fit in one game in this episode against Watford of the league. So yeah, we'll skip to the game against Watford and I'll see you at home to Watford. And here we are, the first match of the EFL Championship against Watford. Brentford-Watford, this is probably a title con like contending game. Two teams who could see themselves up in the top seven. I definitely think Watford should be going up and Bournemouth. I think it's going to be Brentford-Watford and Bournemouth going up this season. That's what I do think. Anyway, we're going to go into the first game against Watford. And here we are, EFL Championship. It's Brentford versus Watford. Brentford hoping to get the three points here at home from Moulton Road. And we do have kick-off. Come on, Brentford. Mimbembo plays it through to Ivan Tony. Here's Tony. Passes it back to Mimbembo. The cell guard, Tony, tries to beat his man, gives it back to Mebueno. The Silva, Ivan Tony, here's Jensen, give it back to Jensen, have a crack, and it's going nowhere. Here come Watford down the, down the middle, it's a brilliant ball through to Troy Deeney and what a tackle from Pinnock and at the rebounds. We couldn't get the tackle to go far and away to get Troy Deeney to go away from the ball and Troy Deeney uses all that strength. A Watford legend puts Watford 1-0 up in front in the EFL Championship. We go 1-0 down, that is an outstanding tackle, it's just not enough to keep Troy Deeney away. It's a really bad start for Van der Root. Not the start he would have wanted on his debut. 11 minutes in, Watford 1, Brentford 0. Oh, Mabueno's won it in the middle of the park. Ivan Tony, it's a bad touch and Watford get the ball away. It's good play from us so far though. It's been a slow start for Brentford. Here's Ivan Tony. Here's a chance. I found my bueno on the wing. My bueno just wide into the Watford away fan section. We're getting closer to that first goal for Brentford. Here's Ivan Tony. He's a lot of the ball in the first 30 minutes. Oh, this is brilliant play. Keep it in. He does. Cross blocked. Still my bueno. De Silva. Still has it. In the middle. And again. It's not going to be kept alive though. Watford back with the ball in the midfield. Here come Watford with Sema. This is lovely football from Watford. And it's two. Brentford go 2 0 down to Watford. 36 minutes in. It's Grey who nets Watford second. It's a really, really bad start to the season for Brentford. And we could be losing to we could lose this game to one of our title contenders. It's not been a good game for Van der Gert. It's just another sloppy goal to be given away. We've been all over Watford as well, but it is what it is. Thirty six minutes in, Watford two, Brentford nil. Here's Ivan Tony. We've found ourselves a ball to Mubueno. Oh it's a bad miss from Mubueno. He should be netting that at two nil down. But we can't find ourselves a goal before half time. Here come Watford in numbers. We, our defence cannot keep up today. Chobala, that could go out for our ball. No, it's not. Still Watford. Here they come. We can't keep up with them defensively. But Norgard gets it away. 
He's still going, but there's the half time whistle. 2 0 to Watford at half time. It's not the best of starts, but we, if what they can do in the first half, we can do it in the second. Come on, Brentford. It's a good start to the second half. Here's De Silva. Gets the ball through to Ivan Tony. Here's Canos. Too deep for him, though. Still Jensen. Ivan Tony ball gets decept intercepted from him. The ball in midfield. Oh, that's a lot of space for Canos. And again, no one there in midfield to pick the ball up. You'd think they're all being defensive, but no, there's no one to be found in defence. But here's the silver still. Here's Tony. Jensen. But we can't break down Watford still. I don't think the formation is working really. 60 minutes in, still 2-0 Watford. Here's the ball in the middle! What a finish! And we find a goal back. Brentford get a goal back. It's Watford 2, Brentford 1. And here comes the comeback for Brentford that they needed. What a finish. I'm just playing about in the middle. Didn't expect anything to happen. Found the space. Brilliant touch and a brilliant finish. Watford 2, Brentford 1. We're still in this game. 30 minutes to go. Come on, Brentford. Here's Troy Deeney. No one defensively back, but the Salgard's here. But no one keeping back. They're all trying to push forward. I'm not even on all that attack. It just goes wide. Got 22 minutes to go. I think I'm going to make a substitution. Players are getting tired. Canos is at a brilliant game. I think. The silver needs to come off, I think. For Giannet. Swap. Nah. In fact, I think I'll bring off Jensen. for Gohodos and then no I think I'll leave it like that no I think I'll just bring on Mark Adonis Mark Condes there we go that's the, that's the substitutions we're going to make let's hope we can get a goal with 22 minutes to go we're having a defensive howler today we're letting every ball go through us. And here's Troy Deeney, he's made it three. He's won Watford the game. Our defence is all over the place. I'm, I'm needing to change up the formation. It's the gap in the middle from the CDM. He's leaving too much space. It's a holding formation that I don't like. I'm going to switch it up to a 4-5-1. I'm going to leave it like that. Change these. I think I'm gonna switch that up to the formation. I can't cope with the space in the centre backs. Here come Watford. Sar. Thirteen minutes to go. It's a good interception from Henry. Now here's Canos. Now here come Brentford. Ivan Tony. Puts the ball out. That was it. That was our only opportunity, probably, for the rest of the game. As they bring off Gray. Ten to go, and we're still two behind. Here's Brentford. It's Canos! That's a howler from Canos to be putting it that far out. You may as well ask the steward for another ball, Canos. That was a horrible miss. Here come Watford, wanting to seal the game, make it four. I'm going to try and not make that happen. 
But it's probably gonna happen. Here come Watford. Oh, what a save. It's the only save I think he's made today, Van der Hort. Oh, that's another great save. But now here come Brentford. Can we get another consolation late on? They've got so many men back. And when Brembo is going to pick himself up a yellow card. With three minutes added on. Still 3-1 to Watford. It's a poor, poor result today. Here we are in the middle of the park, Ivan Tony. I think we've just lacked options today. And that's what's made us go 3-1 down. Muy bueno! Wide again from our right and left wingers. They're just not putting shots away. That's what we've missed crucially today. And it's going to end. Watford 3, Brentford 1. Here in Brentford. It's a poor, poor result on the opening day. And that could be the difference between the league title and staying in the championship for another season. It's a poor way to end the episode. Such a such a great start, you would think, but then to lose on the opening day to Watford. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's a hard fixture, but at home we're a good side. I don't think we should be losing to Watford, but then Watford and Bournemouth are the teams from the Premier League. Usually they go back up, but it is it is a poor way to end the episode to such a good start but if you did enjoy this make sure you do smash that like button and hit subscribe and until next time i will see you in episode two of the brentford career mod goodbye